all right what is going on you guys welcome back to another video so different type of video now um, we're not modifying a 335 um we're going to be cleaning up this x5 that we just picked up um so this is going to be a detailing video but strictly using harbor freight tools products okay so we just picked up this x5 recently um we've already washed it just just to see how it looks so it is pretty scratched um even though with the wash it looks already like 10 times better than how we got it okay so this this polish right here we also picked up from harbor freight but not recently like i've been having this um but these are new i guess bauer came out with these so all in all here this is like i think it's like 70 bucks 10 20 plus 30 that's 50 uh, whatever like another 10 bucks um and you can find all of these at harbor freight um let's see if we can show you a close-up of how the paint looks looks pretty rough also you can see it on camera because i know it looks like glass right now because i think because we just washed it mm -hmm. but if you zoom in on some areas like here i think it's pretty scratched um, and then it's you, just very uh, spider web. Yeah, and then you come right here. Let's see. Mm. Let's zoom in. Okay, there's some scratches. I mean, there's some scratches on here that are not going to come off, like this right here. I think that's just paint missing or paint transfer from oh, hitting that something. One, that one probably This is out. really, yeah, this is like my nail bumps over that. Angry girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but if you zoom out, like. Yeah, when you zoom out, it looks like glass. It looks yeah, perfect. Yeah, the truck looks but... good. And, I mean, we put some tire dressing on the tire, so it yeah. looks like a new truck already. I know. Like, when you get up close, it's when you can really see all the defects, and hopefully we can make it look better. Yeah, I mean, and then the hood is probably the worst. Like, it yeah. is paint chipped. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, you are going to need a clay bar. They, they sell that at Harbor Freight uh, also. Um, I already had some here at home. So it has a bunch of like white spots to it everywhere. It looks like paint, but I guess we'll see if it comes off. Yeah, but yeah, it's like paint, huh? Like like mm -hmm. like house paint. Mm -hmm. um, anyway. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I mean, it's already been washed. Um. But I'm gonna hose it down again and run the clay bar on it just to get any of like the surface contaminants like out of the paint. And mm -hmm. then we can go ahead and start with the compound. All right. So we're just using some soapy water. <laughs> be wood. wood and then uh, just some clay bar let's go and do the hood oh on the hood it gets really caught but i'm thinking it's like the paint defects that it has already like that paint that's sitting on top <laughs> you can hear the little sanding i know it sounds like sandpaper <laughs> how, how contaminated the paint is so, I mean, it, it does start to get pretty dirty, especially right here. I'm going to turn it over. So we're going to go ahead and do the right side of the head first. I have the medium cutting pad. And I'm going to use the, the mirror glaze uh, 100. And just pull a little bit on there. I mean, I'll put, honestly, a lot just because the pad is dry. Yeah. And we put uh, some blue tape so that we can see the before and after. And then also take the thumbnail picture. That's a lot. All right. Like this guy's a pro, so let's no, see. No, no. This is not a <laughs> video. <laughs> this is a DIY video. <laughs> It's not a customer car, so we're not too yeah, concerned. We're, we're experimenting, to be honest. <laughs> and then there's like, I guess this is one through six, so I'm going to just pick four. <laughs> this is just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to sling everything if I put it at the high speed. Dry. I'm like this bottle should not be used on the whole car, <laughs> but then it feels like it. Um, yeah, it's kind of dry. Like this pad feels like it's really cutting. Like it's it's pretty coarse. Oh 
I mean, it already looks a lot better, I'll tell you that. Just where we did this area right here. Mm -hmm. Now, let's see if we can go to the right, see if you see any difference. Uh, I just mean, it's just super contaminated with a bunch of stuff. We'll probably see it on the side better. The hood's probably not the best. So I'm gonna just finish polishing it just so we can get a good thumbnail. Um, it's a little watery because I, I wet the path. I didn't want it all dry. So we're gonna see how this looks now. All right, so we finished this side. As you can tell with the flashlight on, how it looks. Up close and personal. <laughs> and then the other side that's not done yet. Yeah, you can tell, big difference. We'll go ahead and start the quarter panel. The quarter panel. <laughs> <laughs> this dude. This front left fender. And then just work my way around the corner. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he just finished with the green one on this one. And man, that looks, looks like glass. Or like a mirror, I guess. You <laughs> said like glass. Glass is see-through, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's just with one stab, huh? Mm-hmm. Right? Doesn't it look freaking brand new? Yeah. Look at it. Sheesh. All right, guys. So we finished with the green pad, which is the cutting pad, just to get rid of most of the scratches. And it looks great, like, just by itself. It looks really, really good. I mean, that deep scratch right there is not coming out, no matter what. But as you can tell, there's really no swirls, no uh, spider webs kind of scratches. Look at that, it looks like a glass, like a mirror. But yeah, we did the whole truck. It looks really, really good. Look at that. All right, next is the, what's next? The polish. The polish. It's my wire stuff. Mm -hmm. Also, I have enough to do the whole car. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do that off camera and then show you once it's done. Well, the forecast for today didn't say it was gonna rain it was cloudy i mean we kind of seen it but oh well i mean we finished the whole car so it should be fine we're just about to wax it too i know we're about to wax it but now we're gonna have to just wait maybe until the skies clear up or uh, i don't know finish this video tomorrow all right guys so it was raining just a little bit ago and now the sun is coming out and i can actually show you a little bit better we do have a little bit of spots now because of the rain, but man, like it, it is, it's crazy. Like it looks crazy, shiny, like it's just got a new paint job. Look at this. I have it on because I have a little uh, air freshener bomb thingy inside, but it looks super nice. Like it looks really nice. Look at this. very very happy how it came out now we're just gonna go ahead and uh clean up the little water spots and hit it with the wax and yeah i mean that's gonna be pretty much it all right guys so we finished waxing i cleaned all the windows man look at that it looks sick uh he's using a product called back back to black right yeah it's a restore which the just restores all the trims Mm -hmm. So you can tell. I mean, I wish I would have shown you guys. I mean, there's those but, spots right here. Look, right here. Yeah. I haven't hit it. 
yeah like that it used to, all around it used to look like that but you hit it with this product and it actually lasts pretty for a while so um yeah see it looks really nice anyway i mean this thing it looks amazing huh <laughs> like over here like a show car <laughs> damn near like we cleaned it like it was going to be sold at the dealership the the dealership, i know here, so. uh, ignore the cat yeah this thing like oh like i can't even explain how good it looks it just looks so good and now that the sun is coming out so it's gonna look even better but yeah see all the trims looking very black there you go all right guys so finally after like five six hours it's done it looks amazing honestly i'm really uh, impressed with the results it's better than i expected that's for sure for like a little diy job so we did compound polish and then we finished it with like a a wax um and dang it looks sick the black really pops and it was all done for like 60 bucks i mean if you have a polisher or if you don't have one that's like an extra 60 bucks you got to spend um but this is easily like almost like a couple hundred dollar job a couple hundred dollars for what? Mm -hmm. like 500 bucks in our yeah, area it's like 500 to get like bucks. A, a polish and wax on your car this is something you don't do like every weekend probably like once no once a year i would say mm -hmm. um and if you really want to increase the value of your car like if you're going to sell your car i highly recommend you do this you're going to get probably like an extra maybe a thousand bucks for your car just depends 500 bucks for sure all right guys so real quick my final thoughts on the products that we use these are amazing honestly for finding this at harbor freight really cheap so step one use the mirror glaze and then finish it off with this polish and then i guess no finish it off with the wax after you did all that polishing you want to protect your paint um, but yeah, really awesome product. I love all of them. Um, and these can probably do like another two jobs. All right, guys. So hopefully you guys like that before and after. But that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Um, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Um, that really helps with the channel. Uh, and it keeps me motivated to make more videos. But um, anyways, that's going to be for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching.